Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotes Dins Gemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. And I welcome you to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is September 21, Monday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. But today the Church also celebrates the Feast of St. Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagdinilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility, gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another, love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Psalm 19 Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament pro proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Gospel Antiphone we praise you, God. We acclaim you as Lord. Your glorious company of apostles praise you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, Many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. Matthew is a sinner. He is a tax collector. You know, during the time of Jesus, there are three categories, three categories of sins. The first one, you are a sinner if you are sick. <laughs> because surely you have sinned, that's why you are sick. A close relationship between sickness and sin. Which is, until now, that is really true. If you are sick and um, if you do harm to your body, then you will get sick. And, and um, doing harm to the body is a sin, no? The second category, those who really do obvious, um, grievous sins, no? Uh, ah, the first one, the sinners, this is exemplified by, in the Bible by the lepers, no? The lepers. The second one, category of sin, those who, as I've said, do uh, grave um, sins, 
obvious sins like the criminals and the prostitutes no? during the time of Jesus. And third, tax collectors. Tax collectors are considered sinners because again, looking back at, the, at, the, at those days, Israel is under the occupation of the, Roman, of the Romans. No? And if you are a tax collector, you are collecting money from the people and give it to the occupying government. In other words, taxil kasabayan. No? You are a traitor to the country. No? And aside from the fact that tax collectors can really excise much money to the people making life even harder, harder for them. And so the temptation to be corrupt <laughs> is very, very strong. And so he is in this category. And again, during those days, if you, um, the sinners cannot come because they are considered impure, they cannot come with the pure. That's why the lepers, they, not, they do not live with the healthy. No? They live outside the city, so to speak. And they, cannot, uh, um, they can make people impure by their presence among the pure. They can't even be touched. No? And if you touch them, you become impure also. And uh, you have to go, wala pa namang confession during those days, you have to go to the temple to do ritual cleansing for you to be pure again. So these rules they have during those days. And so back to, to Matthew. So he was a sinner in the eyes of the people. He is sitting at the custom post. He is a tax collector. Probably corrupt, we do not know. But again, as I've said, the tendency to corruption is very, very strong. And the temptation is very, very strong. But the gospel says, Jesus passed by and he saw Matthew sitting at the custom post. And then Jesus said to them, to him, follow me. And Matthew got up and followed him. Maybe that's really the deciding moment in the life of Matthew in answering the call of Jesus to follow him. Brothers and sisters, all of us are being called by God. All of us. And we as sinners, <laughs> Jesus came for us. You know? If you consider your sin as a sinner, if you consider yourself as a sinner, then Jesus came precisely for you. And he's calling you. He's calling all of us because all of us are sinners. He's calling all of us. And that's, that's a big hope for all of us. The fact that we are sinners, we are not left out by God. All the more that he came to us because he knows that we are far from him. And so he's calling us to come to him. And we only have to follow. That's always the deciding point in our lives. So that we can really cherish this being, belonging to the kingdom of God being a disciple and follower of Jesus, we have to cherish that. But because before we can do that, no, we have to follow Jesus. We have to follow Jesus. Sabi ko nga, all of us are being called. Lahat tayo ay tinatawag ng Panginoon para makasama siya at magbuhay ng sangayon sa buhay na gusto niya para sa ating lahat. The first reading also um, speaks of a call. St. Paul is telling his listeners, I urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call that you have received with all humility, gentleness, patience, bearing with one another, loving one another. So the second commandment no, of loving the, the, the neighbor is also a given in here. No? Another way of expressing our love for our neighbor. And so live up to that call. Then he goes further, but grace is given to each one of us who are being called and we're giving the responsibility, no? according to the measure of Christ's gift. He gave some as apostles, others as prophets, evangelists, teachers, pastors. For Matthew, he became an apostle and a great evangelist. Look at that, from a sinner to an apostle to an evangelist. Diba? It gives us hope. It can happen to all of us if only we will follow Jesus. If, if, this, if the people look at Matthew... As a sinner, Jesus looks up to him with another eyes, an eye of seeing him with potential, not looking at his sins and his, his uh, history of sins, but a potential person, a person capable of following him, a person of gifts and talents. And that is what Jesus saw in him, not his sins. His sins are there, but it was not magnified. What was seen by Jesus is the potential that is in him to be his disciple. Let's also have this kind of attitude as regards, again, dealing with other brothers and sisters. That's a way of loving the neighbor by looking at him, sinner as he is, 
sinner as, as she is, looking at the potential of the person, the possibility of conversion, the possibility, the potential of being a follower also of, of Jesus and a worker in the church with the gift that that person has. Sana ganito rin yung ating pagtingin. If we are really followers also of Jesus, then it should excite us. It should be our interest to let other people also do the same as we did, to be a follower of Jesus. No? To have this compassion on the sinners as Jesus has. No? He came precisely for the sinners, not for those who are well. No? And so He came for us. Magandang baunin natin ito sa ating maghapon, mga kapatid. He came precisely for me, personally. And then, all I have to do is to follow Him, to answer His call. Every day we are being called by the Lord to make better of our lives. We are being called to serve the other in whatever way we can. No, no one is so poor as being not able to help, to serve, to give, to love. Walang taong sobrang, sobrang walang wala siya na wala siyang kakayahang magmahal at magpakita ng kabutihang loob sa kapwa-tao. Especially once again in these pandemic times. Let us continue loving the other in the way we have, in the way we can. And so, yun lang po, no? Maybe among you could be a future leader of the church in the different ministries, a future um, lector, a future uh, worker, lay minister, no? a future good government official, a future good person. No? So Jesus looked at Matthew with a future and this should also be our perspective as regards dealing with our brothers and sisters. No? And then follow Jesus. Only with Jesus and in following Him can we really attain and achieve true peace and joy in this world. Amen. Ang buhay ni San Mateo ay binago ng pagtawag at hamon ng guro. Nawa ang aming mga panalangin ay magpahayag ng pagbabago ng buhay at maging sensitibo kami sa mga pangangailangan ng iba. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. Ang mga programa para sa paninibago naway maging tanda ng ating buhay kristyano, manalangin tayo. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. At inuwang tanggapin ang hamon at tawag sa pagbabalik loob, sa halip na mahikayat sa pangaakit ng mundo, manalangin tayo. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. Ang mga may kinalaman sa mga bagay tungkol sa pananalapi, naway hindi matuksong ipagpalit ang kanilang kaluluwa para sa kayamanan at kapangyarihan ng mundo, manalangin tayo. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. Ang mga may kahinaan sa kanilang espiritual na buhay, naway humanap ng tulong sa sakramento ng pakikipagkasundo sa Diyos, manalangin tayo. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. Ang mga yumao, naway mapatawad sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Manalangin tayo. Diyos ng pagpapatawad, maging mapagpala ka sa amin. Saktahimik ka ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Makapangyarihang Diyos, sa pamamagitan ng mga panalangin ni San Mateo, tanggapin mo ang mga kahilingan ng iyong bayan, ang bagong Israel na tinipon ng biyaya ng iyong muling nabuhay na anak, na nabubuhay at nagaharin kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you mga kapatid sa inyong pagsama sa ating ngayong araw na ito sa ating pagninilay ng salita ng Diyos. Thank you so much. Um, Hiling ko sa inyo kasi po ito yung ating mga ginagawa ay nalalagay na rin sa YouTube. Sana po ito inyong i-like, i-share at mag-subscribe po tayo para mas marami pang tao 
ang makarinig kung ito'y nakakatulong sa inyo at alam niyo matutulungan ang ibang tao then i-share po din natin. No? Maraming maraming po salamat sa inyo. Pag-asa ang bigay sa atin ng Ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ito. Hope is the gift of the, Holy, of the gospel readings that we have heard for today. Hope for all that even though sinners, we have the hope of becoming really a follower of Jesus. Again, Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, live streaming from Vienna, Austria. Magandang araw, magandang buhay. Happy week to all of you. Ciao.